Hi, I'm Shane with eTrailer.com. Today I'm going to walk through how to install Roadmaster's second vehicle brake monitor light on your 2018 Thor Chateau motorhome. Adding this light in your vehicle or in your motorhome is going to let you know that your brakes are being applied in your towed vehicle, whether that vehicle or braking system already has a light on it. In our case here, our customers' uh, braking system in their towed vehicle, they have a light that's mounted inside the towed vehicle. But the problem is, is where the light is mounted, when the sun shines down on it, it's hard to see in the camera on the RV. So they wanted to add a second one so that they know when this comes on that their brakes are working in their towed vehicle. As far as the installation, it's pretty simple. Um, this vehicle actually has a brake controller and the customer was not going to be using it to, to pull a trailer. So what we were able to do is just tie directly into it. If you don't have a brake controller, uh, sometimes you'll have a factory plug for a factory tow package that will be somewhere up under the dash. There is a uh, kit for a brake controller that you can buy. It's just a plug and you would basically use one of the wires off of that plug the plug into the factory plug, use the blue wire off it, run it through here, and it would go uh, directly back to the back of the RV to the 7 pole plug. If you don't have a factory tow package, your kit's going to come with a bundle of black wire that you're going to tie into the back of the light, and you're going to have to run it back to the 7 pole plug and um, attach it there so that the signal coming from the car runs through that wire up to this light. Something I really like about this indicator light is when the brakes are applied, this is a very bright LED light, so you know for sure um, that those that the brakes are being applied. As you can see, it's going to be very easy to see at night and very easy to see during the day when there's a lot of sunshine out. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, um, you need to determine if you have factory tow package on your RV. Most of them are going to. Um, in our case here, we have a factory brake controller that's already in place. Um, you're going to have a bundle of wire that comes in your kit that will come from your monitor light that you would run underneath the chassis to the back and hook it to the blue wire coming out of your plug or to the brake wire. Um, in our case, we're not going to have to do that because, again, we have our brake controller here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull the center of the dash off. I'm going to get to my brake wire going into my brake controller and I'm going to tie into it right here. It's going to save me a lot of extra time. So we'll start this panel right up here. We're going to pull up on it and what you're going to have is right here you're going to have two screws that you need to remove. I've already got them removed but uh, remove those and then what you'll do is you're going to pull out like this. We're going to pull this face off and be careful because this plastic is fairly thin, but it should pop off fairly easy. Kind of set it to the side like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull this piece off right here. We'll start right up here at the top. Just kind of pull back. If it makes it easier, you can use a trim panel tool. Kind of get it down in the side there. I'll help you work it out. Yeah. Okay. Pull this like this to the side, and we're going to pop our controller up. Just like that. On the back of our controller, this blue wire is going to be the wire that runs to our factory plug or seven pole plug in the back of the motorhome. What I'm gonna do just to make sure is I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna take a light tester and I'm gonna test this, the back of it here, to make sure when I apply the brakes, it's coming on here, not just at the back. Now if you're testing it, you gotta make sure that because it is a brake controller, you have the key and the ignition when you're applying the brakes, otherwise the brakes won't work. It's also a good idea to uh, maybe plug your trailer in so that we can see it, it'll work with our brake controller, but we want to make sure that it's going to work with our brake pedal. So in order for you to test it with the brake pedal, 
You gotta have a trailer plugged in. You can see we're getting a signal there. Okay, so that means we can tie into this wire here and make our install a lot easier. Next, we need to determine where we're gonna mount our light. This panel right here pops off pretty easy and I think we're gonna be able to put it like right up in this corner. If you just pull out on the top here, on both sides of your steering wheel, this will just fall back. Just like that. And I'm thinking we can get it like right here. It'll hang down right in this area. Give us plenty of room. We won't have to worry about the wires getting damaged. Uh, I think we're going to do that first. So we'll drill a 5 16 hole. And take our light. Slide it into place. Like that. You're gonna get a little black clip. It'll look like this. It's gonna help hold that light in place. Slide that over. Take it and just push it all the way up against the bottom of our panel here. Just like that. Now we're gonna take a red and a white wire. This is gonna be your audio signal. We're going to take the red wire from it, attach it to the red wire on the light. Your kit's going to come with butt connectors. And we're going to do the same thing with our white wires. Two whites are going to be our ground and make sure we're grounding it on a metal surface. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a butt connector instead of my ring terminal on here. I'm going to extend this wire uh, just so if they ever have to take this panel back off, they don't take a chance of pulling this ground out of the ring terminal. Um, I think I'm just going to ground it right in here. You can find it here at eTrailer.com. I'm probably only going to use maybe six inches. Strip back both sides. Ring terminal on one. And we'll add the other end to the butt connector. Make sure it's got a good hold. You can see if I mount that right there, that gives them plenty of room they can drop this down. Now what we need to do is we need to extend our red wires all the way across to our blue wire. And your kit, if you remember right, I mentioned it's going to come with a bundle of black wire that you would normally run to the back if you didn't have a signal. This is what we're going to use to extend our wire. Uh, and honestly, you can actually use this to extend that white wire if you wanted. Um, I like to kind of keep mine color matched, but you're not going to see any of it, so it's completely up to you. For this, I'm actually going to run it up through the dash and connect it to my blue wire first and then uh, bring my my extra wire on this side that way I can judge how much I'm going to need over here and I can cut off extra or whatever whatever I need to do. So I'll take this I'm going to go back behind this panel and I'm actually going to have to go up reach up behind my dash and uh, push this black wire out through this hole where my brake controller would sit. I will cut our brake controller wire. I'll strip back both sides, or both ends. Let's start with this side. We're going to add on our butt connector. Black wire goes on the other end of the blue wire. Put it into our butt connector, grip it into place. Now once we get that connection, uh, we can go ahead and put our dash back together. Now where we hooked our black wire into our blue wire coming off our brake controller, it's causing a little bit of interference. Um, there is a couple different ways you can handle this. 
Um, our customer is not going to actually use a brake controller. He's not going to pull trailers. He just pulls a vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this blue wire uh, on the brake controller side and cap it off in case they want to reconnect it later on. If you're wanting to keep your brake controller, the black wire is not going to be able to be connected here. You're going to have to run it to the back to the seven pole plug and hook it to the reverse wire because of that extra signal going in from the brake controller. So because we're not using the brake controller, we're just going to cut this off here. I'm going to strip this back and I'm going to add on a buck connector so that if, uh, again, if they ever want to re-hook it back up, it'll be ready for them and they'll just have to strip back the other side. And that way we don't have any issue with this touching anything. So now go ahead and put everything back together and test it out. Make sure it's all working correctly. Once you get everything connected on the RV side, what you're going to have to do, as I mentioned earlier, they're towing a vehicle. Um, we had to tie a wire into the braking system on the vehicle, which is actually just the indicator light that's already on here. They were having a hard time seeing it. Uh, we just tied the wire into it and ran up to the six pole plug. And then once you do that, you just want to make sure that your wire coming out of the six pole plug is matching where the blue wire is on the seven pole plug on the RV side. So that when the brakes are applied uh, on the braking system in the vehicle, the red indicator light inside the RV comes on. Now with our braking system turned on in the towed vehicle, what I'm going to do is apply the brakes in the RV and show that this light comes on. That's telling us that the braking system in the vehicle is working. Now that we know everything's working correctly, I'm going to go ahead and put on my included sticker. It'll fit right over top of the light, and you're ready to go. That's going to do it for a look at installation on the Roadmaster second vehicle indicator light on our 2018 Thor Chateau Motorhome.